the Kenya government has assured free deliveries for mothers and free antenatal services in public hospitals. Kukulifa kukuja hospitali ya serikali kita kwanza kulipisha. Ya pili, wana wakona linda mama. So we want people in Yandarwa to trust our dispensaries, our health centers and our hospitals. Cesarean sections are covered under Linda Mama program. The Linda Mama has really assisted our mothers. They are really coming in numbers because they are paying nothing. They are getting more services free. Na ninge si wale ambaye awana i Linda Mama inawasaidia na itawasimamia. When you come here, you know you're going to get the best. <laughs> In fulfillment of the Big Four Development Agenda, the Kenyan government initiated Linda Mama program to boost the reproduction health of women with an eye to achieve the universal health care. Through Linda Mama initiative, expectant women, newborn babies and their mothers are able to access quality health care for a period of one year at no cost in government hospitals. Linda Mama as a healthcare initiative was launched by National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF, in 2016. It seeks to improve efficiency and performance of maternal and child health care across the country. The <laughs> The program strongly focuses on equity, access, affordability, and quality health services of the mother and the child. Through the Linda Mama program under the National Health Insurance Program, the Kenya government has assured free deliveries for mothers and free antenatal services in public hospitals. This program has made significant improvement in the overall health status of mothers in line with Kenya's long-term development agenda for universal access to health care for women. And I urge all mothers to enroll in this program and take advantage of the antenatal visits. In Nyandarwa, registration of Linda Mama is a continuous process across the county. Expectant women cannot afford to wait to benefit from this program. In rural areas where computers are a challenge, health workers are using specialized gadgets to undertake this noble process. The joy in these women is evident to the acceptance of its resourcefulness. So, kuna kati mtajaza hapa, na hindi utakupatia, ni utakua unakuja nae kila asa ukikuja. So, hindi utakua unakuja nae. The Linda Mama has really assisted our mothers. They are really coming in numbers because they are paying nothing. They are getting all services free. That is from laboratory, from preventive care, from delivery and, and birth, they are paying nothing, even in postnatal. Uh, we have taken it upon ourselves to make sure that uh, we mobilize our mothers as much as possible to come to seek services in our facilities. 
and also make sure that uh, whenever they come, we take it up upon ourselves to make sure that uh, they are registered into Linda Mama program. The government caters for the costs of uh, that service through uh, NHIF reimbursement. As the pregnancy grows, we expect the weight to increase. So we take the baseline weight to see whether the baby is growing well. So if the mother is due for tetanus, I also give. I also give ferrous and folic. This will help the mother to increase the blood volume and also to protect any congenital abnormalities that the baby could get. Nyandarwa County is in the front line to make this initiative a reality. The county government recognizes the potential of the Linda Mama initiative to effectively place the county on the path towards achieving universal health coverage. Majina naitwa Mirka Wajido. Nimetoka makutano. Nimekuja hospitali ni nimepewa kadi ya Linda Mama na nimefurahia juu ya hiyo ju nilikuwa nasikia kunayo sikuwa nimepata na nimesikia inafanya kazi nzuri na nimefurahia juu utalipa kitu hata ukienda mahali popote nimefurahia juu ya hiyo kadi Linda Mama program has been such a big boost to mothers and their babies as immunization cutters for all maternal services during pregnancy, delivery, postnatal, and up to when the baby is one and a half years old. The objective of the immunization is to reduce morbidity and mortality from vaccine preventable diseases. In the morning, we report on duty. We go to maternity, all those children who have been delivered, we give them body polio and then BCG. Then we advise them after six weeks, they are supposed to come back to the clinic for second rotavirus, PVC V10, uh, Penta, and then we give oral polio second dose. This will help in accelerating attainment of universal health coverage in the face of other competing child survival activities. So it's like mandatory because it, we need that child to complete the immunization. So, and then we feel comfortable. And then we tell, we tell the mothers that the benefit of their children. Couples have been encouraged to visit hospitals to get advice on family planning methods even before they plan to have a baby. We encourage our mothers to do family planning so that they don't have unplanned pregnancies and this will help them to be able to care for themselves and for their babies. We advise our mothers to attend antenatal clinics so that the pregnancy can be monitored by our health care workers and if there is any complication it can be detected on time and the necessary action can be taken. We encourage our mothers and they respond in very well that clinic yakina mama akiwa muja mzitu ata picha ni free. Serikali imelipia kujene tuwa udumie kuna madaktari hautaki mama yote ateseke. The immediate removal of maternity fees in public health facilities countrywide has led to maternal and child health improvement. Data from UNICEF shows that infant mortality rate in Kenya has reduced from 77 per 1,000 live births in 2003 to less than 34 in 2019. Despite this gradual change, neonatal mortality has remained a major contributor to infant mortality, accounting for about 35% of infant deaths nationally. All our mothers in Nyandarwa County and beyond, when they are pregnant, 
Kaidre Kaidre come and deliver in our healthy facilities. Our healthy facilities are able to handle all delivery cases and uh, delivery and maternity services are free because there is a leader mama program which is uh, free to all mothers who are expectant and all mothers are eligible. So it's just a matter of uh, registering and coming to the healthy facilities to deliver free. Baby Ajokire, Woko, Nidra Dekoega, Na Dre Dona, you know, Daheo, Cardina, Rida Mama, and Dona Neko Davia, Kwai Hida Riri. Services, the Rashida Hano, Kunifitari, Aga, the Kunijaga, Todo Dagatari, Darako, Ridia, Rukanaga, Aga Kunigania, Wa Aku Yashu Riawe, Okahora. Nokaho ta kumusho keri ya nigeza nigeza ona orea kuri gana na orea la kuri ane nora ho ta kumuhema de na ma kumode. First visit of antenatal uh, clinic mothers usually get allowed to 50. The fourth visit is allowed uh, 30 to 39. Uh, for the deliveries, we usually get that one deliveries per month. We have seen an evident increase in the first antenatal clinic visits. More women are seeking safer alternatives under the supervision of skilled medical workers to deliver their babies and they are also seeking gynecological services. More expectant women are opting to deliver in health facilities with assistance from skilled health personnel. Here we deal with the aunt mothers who come from home already who have started laboring. We receive like 10 mothers in a day who come. We assess them on the, in the process of admission. That's why we are going to assess the mother either for admission or you advise the mother whether for which stage where we admit in first stage or in antenatal. When we assess, there are those who come in late and phase of labor, that is uh, four to 4 cm, then we bring them here for monitoring of labor where we have the active stage now. There are very many benefits of a mother delivering in hospitals as opposed to delivering at home. First, when a mother comes in labor, to our hospitals. The labor is monitored by our healthy care workers. Monitoring of labor is very important so that in case there's some complications, some problems before a mother delivers, delivered, it can be detected and the necessary action can be taken. For example, you can detect a complication that you really need to refer. So you refer immediately, it's usually an emergency. You can also detect a complication that requires immediate surgery, that is cesarean section. You can do that in hospital. North Kinangop Catholic Hospital is one among the mission hospitals in Nyandarwa County that offers Linda Mama services. It offers referral maternal care services and comprehensive emergency obstetric care. The hospital handles normal deliveries and cesarean section cases. In our visit, we find doctors in the rest against time to perform an emergency cesarean delivery. Cesarean section is also covered by Linda Mama program. Being a referral hospital, we cater for majority of the Nyandarwa County. We receive other cases from the lower level hospitals. Most of the cases we receive are usually emergency cases. For example, a patient who has had prolonged labor in another institution would be referred to us as an emergency so that we can conduct an emergency C-section. I would say in a month we conduct about 70 cesarean sections. Um, we have the elective cases and the emergency cases, emergency cases being more than the elective cases. Elective CS actually has its indications. 
and most of the women we find here who are for elective CSI usually have had a previous operation due to various indications and now this the second delivery they opt to have a, an elective cesarean section because that is in the guidelines. Dr. Lumumba, however, throws caution to ladies who prefer elective cesarean section. She advocates for normal delivery if no signs of medical complications. The challenges for them would be after the operation, the post-operative pain, there's usually pain after an operation, then after the recovery period is longer as compared to a lady who deliver normally. If there are no complications or um, any issues with their um, pregnancy and their labor, I would advise them to go for the normal delivery. If a complication arises, then they can be taken for a uh, cesarean section because a cesarean section also has its complications. Not every case is straightforward. So if you can go through the normal process of labor and deliver normally, it is better. The Linda Mama program has been of great help. In the past, we're having a lot of mothers deliver at home, on the way to hospital. Some would come, but they would have financial challenges because somebody has to pay for this service. But being a mission hospital, being and our core service being the service of, the, of towards healing, would have challenges. We've conducted the delivery, they are unable to pay but would not deny them the service because the pregnant woman for us takes priority over all other emergencies. Because here we are talking of the life of the mother and the life of the newborn to be. But this one had ventilation. North Kinangop Catholic Hospital boasts of having state-of-the-art facilities in the newborn unit section. It is well equipped with new phototherapy medical equipment. Dr. Jen Rita makes frequent routines to see the progress of the infant and their mothers at NBU. The unit has put a smile to mothers with prematurely born infants and those born with low birth weight. Where we are currently is a current newborn unit and we receive babies who are uh, sick or who are not stable to stay with their mothers. For those who are born before their time, we expect them to grow up to a level where we are able to discharge them at, a, at least an average of two kgs. Then we can follow up in our outpatient clinic. And for those who are sick, we treat them with, their, with the medications that we have, and then we can discharge them home when they are stable to stay with their mothers. From here, if a baby has very low birth weight of uh, below 1500 grams, they are put in an incubator and they feed them using the mother's milk until they are able to attain that weight and until they don't have any complications like breathing issues, they are retaining the things that they are fed by their mothers, then we move them to another unit called kangaroo mother care. So the baby is put on the mother's chest and uh, some of the benefits is that the baby is able to get temperature regulation from the mother, the right temperature. There is boarding, then there is also what we call feeding on demand. Then the mother is also not having the stresses of having to go from being separated from the baby. So there is what we call rooming in. And uh, the baby is able to get the natural bacteria, the good bacteria from the own mother, which also form the the protection eventually. There are so many advantages. The program has brightened the faces of these mothers as they can feel the heartbeat of their infants through kangaroo care. Despite heavy investments in medical equipment, Linda Mama program has its own challenges. If it is possible, the government can give us our own ambulance cause when the ambulance is coming all the way from Siribuet Health Center or from Gano Health Center, uh, we, we feel that it is not proper for emergency cases. When maybe the mother is breeding, we feel that you don't need a lot of hours to stay with the mother who is breeding. We need immediate referral. 
rÄ©rÄ©a ndokire kÅ©heo mwana, twarÄ© aingÄ©, itanda twakomaga tÅ©rÄ© erÄ©rÄ©, na no nyende tuongererwo itanda, na [cs] space [cs] ikorwo Ä© nene tondÅ© [cs] space [cs] onayo no nini. [cs] Hospitals such as North Kinangop Catholic Mission Hospital argue that the program is not sustainable. This is due to the financial burden the facility is left to shoulder as it offers specialized care to complicated cases. The challenges are that uh, uh, this program, especially in the mama, I think uh, how it has been uh, looked, even from the financial point of view, to me should be reviewed because uh, it is uh, uh, putting an enormous pressure, even financial pressure on those people, which I don't know if we will be able to sustain. The government is uh, giving to NHAF, and the NHAF is for working to us, 6,000 Kenyan shillings for normal delivery, uh, 17,000 for civilian section. Clearly for us, these are unsustainable. NHIF registration requirements is as follows. 1. Pregnant women of age 18 years and above registered using National Identity Card and the antenatal care records. 2. Pregnant women under 18 years using their Guardian ID card and antenatal care records. And 3. Pregnant women without National Identification Card registered using antenatal care records. Manunga Health Center is a public health facility providing maternal services under Linda Mama program. The facility is assured of revenues to supplement their usual budgetary allocation. The reimbursement is based on quality of health services provided. The idea is to effectively address quality gap in the provision of the services. From the time we started, uh, let's say the community have received it well, especially since some mothers who are used to pay here and there, and now the services are given for free. This facility so far, the NHIF has been able to reimburse 1.5 million. Most of the are before, used just to give the mother a, a cup of tea because the funds were limited. But currently, we are giving them what we call mother's pack. We have also purchased a printer stroke scanner of worth 90,000, such that we don't send our mothers to go and photocopy those documents outside. We do them internally. We have also bought 10,000 liters tank for water storage. This is to ensure we harvest water and our mothers do not lack water, especially when they come to deliver. Today, courtesy of Linda Mama program, mothers can access quality health care, such as antenatal care, neonatal care, as well as postnatal care, all for free. Wakati mimi nilikuwa nikipewa watoto, Linda Mama hiko kuwa. Na sasa nilikuwa natumia pesa nyingi, kukimbia hapa na pale, ili niweze kujisaidia. Lakini wa, nilifurahia sana na nikashukuru Mungu wakati linda mama ilikuja na ilianzia juu ya huyu msichana wangu. Hao wengine wote walikuwa nafanya nini? Wanalipa hospitali. Kwa hivyo nimeona pakubwa sana katika hii linda mama imemshikilia na imemsaidia kwa sababu ningekuwa nakimbia kumsaidia kumshughulikia kwa sababu hana kinga ingine ni mimi tu ndiye ananitegemea. Kwa hivyo nimsaidika pakubwa sana na ningesi wale ambao hawana Hii linda mama inawasaidia na itawasimamia. Na tunashukuru sana, tukona sifa, hata sijuni itasema nini. Oh. <laughs>